Good morning. How are you guys? Right now I'm going to Mitiana. I'm in the tax park here, the old tax park. Sloping down on the stairs here. So much business happening here. So we are going to Mitiana to make some uh, vlogs, show you how Mitiana town looks like. Hopefully we shall also be able to go to the gold mines in Mitiana. Mitiana is known, Mitiana and Muvende are known to be uh, very, very rich when it comes to gold deposits there. So hopefully when I get to, to Mitiana town, I'll be able to make for you some videos there and you see how life is in the gold mines, guys. So right now, I'm walking in the tax park. I thought I would find taxis going to Mitiana in the, in the old tax park. Right now, I'm in the old tax park. I thought I would find taxis here, but I've been told they are in the new tax park. So right now, we are going to be walking together to the new tax park, and uh, we start our journey to Mitiana. Unfortunately, this one is called the Old Tax Park, but it, it, is recent, it, it recently got renovated, but they call it the Old Tax Park. The other one is a bit older than this one. The carpet is new. I've made some vlogs about the Tax Park. You can go and check them out, both the new and the Old Tax Park. Yeah, guys. So right now I'm walking towards Mukwano Mall. It's a weekend. It's a Saturday. There are not so many people in town here because it's a weekend. It's a Saturday. But usually during weekdays, this place is packed to capacity. <laughs> I think you've seen most of my vlogs in town here. During weekdays, the place is packed to capacity. Man. So enjoy the scenery of Kampala, the ambience of Kampala. A typical African city as we are walking down the tax park. All right, let's go. So, on my left is the Mukwano Mall, Mukwano Shopping Center. It's there on my left. Uh, sorry, yeah, it's my left. Then on my right, we have the famous Kaja where women buy stuff, shoes, uh, tops, skirts. A lot of women's stuff is there. It's, usually, it's, it's, it's known as Kaja. And I think you can see there are many women there. Yeah, man. So we are going to take this side. This one connects to Wandegaya Bombo Road. But here right now we are walking on Namirembe Road. Uh, this section of this road is called the Kampala Non-Motorized Corridor. <laughs> There are prayer sessions going on behind there. Those are street preachers. They are praying for people. We are about to reach the tax park, guys. Don't worry. Hopefully, you're enjoying the scenes of Kampala. It's a beautiful morning here. The sun feels lovely on the skin. Is this vitamin, vitamin A, vitamin D? Which one is the morning vitamin that comes from the sun? You guys should let me in the comment section. I'm forgetting my biology. <laughs> you should let me know. So right now, as you can see, we are close to the tax park, the new tax park. Uh, that is Ham Shopping Center on that side. Also, Nachivubo Stadium is inside those buildings. Right now, it's being constructed. So, this one is saying no entry for Boda Boda, motor vehicles, blah blah. 
That's why I told this code a non-motorized corridor, but as you can see, there are border borders and, and vehicles there already. <laughs> Uganda people do things the opposite way. They give a hard time to the authorities. I think Ugandans, we are so stubborn. It was designed to be a non-motorized corridor. But cars and motorcycles are already there. So here is the, the tax park, guys. Right now, we're going to be looking for Michiana taxis. Mitiana, uh, Mitiana. Every stage has posters to where it leads. So I'm looking around, looking for Mitiana. Beautiful scenes here. People are busy. Traveling, traveling to different destinations. I think I've got to ask, otherwise I'm going to keep on walking around. I've got to ask so that I'm given directions Zay Jabal, taxi is a Michiana Zidua. I was same bad. Lovely, lovely, lovely guys. <laughs> So I've been told they are at the extreme end this side. Yeah, I've seen the post of Mijiana at the extreme end. Guys, if you're enjoying the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. UG Connect is the best plug if you need to know anything about Uganda. Road trips to different destinations. UG Connect has got you. Sorted. Yeah, Mitiana is here. Transport is 10k. Yeah, I think we are good to go. Mitiana, Mubende. Mitiana is here. I think you can see Mitiana Cassandra. There. Okay. Guys, I'm lucky. Uh, it was only one seat remaining in this taxi, so I think we are good to go. I'll be on time. So, enjoy the road trip, guys. Sometimes they pack them to capacity, they put excess people. Even yeah, this one, they have not put excess people. So these kind of taxis in Uganda are licensed to carry only 14 passengers. Only 14. And every row takes three passengers. But sometimes these guys pack four, four people on every row. <laughs> sometimes when you go to distant parts of Uganda, especially Masaka, they pack five files on every row. You can imagine that life. And some of them even sit on top of others. I've heard stories like that in Masaka. I think I'll go and we make a vlog about 
those kinds of taxis in Masaka, guys. If you know about them, you can also let me know in the comment section right down below. So there is a bus terminal there. It's called uh, Namirembe Road Bus Terminal. It has buses going to Western Uganda. In case you need to go to Western Uganda, uh, the many buses are actually around this area and also the area of Chiseng. Most of them take the Western Uganda route. I wanted to buy chicken, but it doesn't look nice. Here, Mecca. What's that? It's not in the tally fresh, you know. It's fresh. It's fresh. It's fresh. It's fresh. It's fresh. balance. A balance. balance. So guys, a bowl chicken and a water. But this one looks not to be tasty. The tastiest chicken I've had during my road trips is the chicken of uh, Northern Uganda when you're going close to Paruma waterfalls. The chicken there is very, very tasty, very nice. All the times I've been there, it's very nice. And also the chicken of ginger. Yeah, very nice. Ginger around, I think, Namangwe. And also, uh, as you're starting the Mabira forest, yeah. So I've got two pieces. I'm not. I'm not going to eat them one. I want to share with these little kids over here. Mukwate. Mukabane, okay? So I've shared. I've shared my chicken with the kids there. Testing board. And it's, it's 
this fresh? So it looks like we, uh, we have approached uh, Tiana town, we are already in the town. So usually when you're traveling to Fort Porto, the first stop area is I think that petrol station. That's where the buses stop in case you need to refresh yourselves. Then another stop is in Mwende. But during the lockdown for Ebola, buses were only stopping in one area there at the petrol station, Shell petrol station. I've never had time to come to or around Metiana. This is my first time. Let's see what this town has got to offer.
So guys, here we are. Behind me is the tax park. So right now, let me have a simple tour around uh, Mitiana town. As you can see, this road is being constructed, is being worked upon. Yeah. So right now we are in the center. We are in the heart of Mitiana town. Yeah. It's a calm town. It's not as busy as Kampala. No, no huge sounds. I'm surprised. It is somehow silent, guys. Tell me what you think about it. I expect it to be a bit more vibrant, like ginger, like Mbale. But here it is a bit calm. People are chill. That's how it is like here, man. So they have poured water on the road. So the dust won't be disturbing people. I've been told that this street is called Market Street. Yeah. It's called Market Street and right now they are renovating the road as I showed you earlier. Mitiana Gambachi. See movie. But you see that chain, no. Na fe guaka wa fe.